Welcome, dear traders. Today, traders are waiting for the Fed's key rate decision with a bated breath. They have already priced in a 75 basis point rate hike. So, if this scenario comes true, market volatility is unlikely to be high. Now, speculators prefer a wait-and-see approach. At the same time, the probability of a more aggressive rate increase ranges from 13 to 27 percent. Jerome Powell's speech will also be in the limelight. In his previous speeches, he emphasized that he saw the main risk not in a recession, but in an uncontrolled inflation. Meanwhile, there are more clear signs of a recession in the country, for example, a decrease in the Consumer Confidence Index. Consumer confidence has been falling for the third month in a row, reaching the lowest level in almost a year and a half. New home sales also declined to a two-year low. These indicators are signaling a decrease in consumer spending and a slowdown in economic expansion at the beginning of the third quarter. Nevertheless, the second quarter GBP data will be the main gauge of a recession. If GDP drops for the second quarter in a row, it will indicate a start of a technical recession in the United States. The global economy is now facing a risk of a slowdown. According to the Reuters surveys, many countries are more likely to slight into recession rather than a curb soaring inflation. In the United States, talks about an imminent recession may temporarily undermine the rally of the US currency. Perhaps it dipped slightly in the Asian session due to this reason. The US dollar index has been losing ground against the six rivals for several sessions in a row. However, it has been able to consolidate at a strong support level of 106 points amid expectations of the Fed's interest rate decision. However, a rally of the greenback mainly depends uh, on aggressive monetary tightening. The Fed is more hawkish compared to other major central banks, especially the ECB. It's uh, quite bullish for the US dollar given the geopolitical upheaval and the risk aversion. During the Asian session, the US dollar index was consolidating in the range of 106.91 and 107.14. It was also trading at 106.93. The difference in the key rates significantly affects the yen, yet the dollar-yen pair is one of the most traded ones for many analysts. It's a barometer of the health of the Asian economies as well as the global one. The outlook for the yen remains bearish given the upcoming key rate hike by the Fed and the Bank of Japan's stubborn stance. However, the number of net loan positions on the yen has grown today to 33%. It means that there are still traders who are betting on its further increase. After a slight decline on a Tuesday, 236.78, the dollar yen pair was trading near the level of 136.71. In the Asian session, it was moving in the upward channel of 136.66 and 137.15. Market tensions are growing ahead of the Fed meeting, which will take place in a couple of hours. At the same time, the Reserve Bank of Australia may become less hawkish, taking into account fresh inflation data. The inflation report, which was published today, revealed a slight decrease versus the forecast reading of 6.3%. The CPI index came in at 6.1% in annual terms and rose from the previous quarter's figure of 5.1%. It was the biggest jump in the food prices since the third quarter of 2011. Nevertheless, the difference of 0.2% between the actual reading and the forecast one fueled optimism among market participants. This is also good news for the Reserve Bank of Australia. At its meeting on August 2, the regulator may raise the interest rate by 50 basis points instead of 75 basis points.
The Aussie and Australian government bond yields declined following inflation data. On Wednesday, the Audi USDP retreated from the monthly high reached earlier. The Aussie lost momentum due to the risk of sentiment and mounting recession fears. News from China about the rapid spread of the coronavirus is also bearish for the Aussie, yet the upward momentum is still strong. In the Asian session, the pair was fluctuating in an error range of 0.6913 and 0.6960. It was reading at the level of 0.6950. Its further movements will largely depend on the Fed's rate decision. The bulls may push the Aussie to an important resistance level of 0.7000. After that, the price may approach 0.7069, a high of June 16. Alternatively, dollar bulls will regain ground if the pair tumbles below a strong support level of 0.6800. If so, the pair is likely to slip to the lows of July 13 and 14, located at 0.6724 and 0.6680. Many countries are dealing now with the runaway inflation. This is why central banks have shifted to a more hawkish stance. The prospects of the global economy are also rather dim. Aggressive monetary tightening by major central banks, geopolitical problems related to Ukraine, dismal prospects of the Chinese economy and other regional challenges are whining on markets. The Fed will announce its security decision at 18 GMT. Subscribe to our channel and keep close tabs on market developments. See you soon.